today's video, I'm going to talk about how to be an entrepreneur. So, I would call myself an entrepreneur, and the way I fill people's needs is by cutting grass and doing landscaping work and stuff like that. Um, let's go from the beginning, and then I'll get to the end. So, it was winter, and I was around 10 or 11 years old, and I wanted to start making some money. So, basically what I did is I told my parents I wanted to start a lawn care company and they said go ahead. So we had one push mower, um, a weed eater, and a blower and we cut my grandma's lawns. Now we did that for a long time and made a few bucks and then last year especially we started to think about really like getting more clients and not just having our family and start making a lot more money. So last year we um, added a new mower that my grandma donated to us, which is the exact same mower that we have. So now we have two lawnmowers, a weeder, and a blower. Um, we have around two weeders too, so we added more customers and we made more money. We also, um, the lawns close to us, we are able to use our riding tractor um, to cut those and we have one commercial customer. So we make a lot of money and I'll tell you how I started it and how I advertise my company. So probably one of the first things we did is get shirts. Now my dad knows somebody that can make shirts so we contacted him and he made us four shirts, two for each of us. Um, they say Phil I think right here is so our last name and then on the back they have our image or like logo with Scouts Long Hair. And they're bright orange shirts so they're for safety and they advertise. Um, I was at Hy-Vee once with my mom, she was getting coffee, and we uh, got a customer just by um, her seeing our shirts. So we also, some of my dad's friends he knew that needed their long cut, we also took them on as customers. Um, the commercial customer that we have, he wanted us to make invoices, so I learned how to make invoices, and so I have an invoice for each of my customers. So we actually do run the business actually pretty professionally. And so I keep track. There's an app on my phone, and it's called Yard Yardbook. And lots of long hair companies use it. You can um, use it to clock in, clock out, um, have routes for your customers, add customers, um, invoices, payments, estimates. I mean, everything you need is on this app. It's also free. So every time I cut their lawn. I put it down and I say if they paid us or not paid us and so at the end of the month I each, for each of my customers I fill out the invoice either if they have Gmail then I send it through email or um, some of my customers are older and they don't have that so I either just print it out and um, send it to them or when I'm cutting the line I just go ahead and hand it to them. So we all do, we do, do um, invoices and I kind of like it just because it, it gives them like a thought of mine that they that we're keeping track of all the um, long care cuts and stuff like that. A lot of these uh, cuts are not just us showing up and cutting their lawn. We also um, have a lot of stuff that we do not just cutting their lawn. So we have to make sure that we can add that up and stuff like that. They're also for safety. Um, having them being orange makes us a lot more safer when we're operating machinery and stuff like that. It also gives us something to do during the summer. Um, the summer can get boring and we like to make money, that's how I'm able to afford this whole build. Most of this build, except for some donations, I only got like $100 of donations. Not that much, but it surely did help. But all this whole build, I made 100% my money, except for donations. So the, all the money I made is from my lawn care business and if I didn't have the business, I wouldn't be making money and I wouldn't be able to do amazing projects like this. The build that my brother's going to be doing on a teardrop camper, entirely funded off lawn care. Um, the business, right now my dad drives us around. My sister has finished driver's ed, so she might be driving us around. And me and my brother are 13, so at the end of this year we'll get our learner's permit and we'll be able to start learning how to drive. And once we're able to drive, our business will really take off from there because we'll be able to get more things done during the day. Um, also, um, I'm kind of more like the businessman, so I take care of all the phone calls, text, um, the, I run the app, I do all the invoices, I'm kind of like the behind the scenes work, I also do mow, but my brother, is, he 
doesn't really want to take care of all the stuff. So he is more there to just cut the lawns and get the work done. I do help him though, but sometimes he might do a little more than me, but it's okay because he knows that I'm going to be doing this work for him. Um, our sister might be joining us because she's going to be going on some pretty big trips and she doesn't have an income right now. She might be getting a job somewhere else or she might be coming into our business. Um, another way to advertise other than shirts is flyers. So we're really focusing on the north end area of where I live so we can get there very quickly. Also, a lot of the north end area lawns are pretty small, except in mine. This is four and a half acres of mostly woods, but there's a lot of lawn there I have to cut too. But we're trying to focus on the north end here just because they're really small lawns and we get a lot of them knocked off in a day and we can get a ton of money in just one day. Also, we're able to drive our tractor in to those lawns just because they're so close in here in the north end. But other than that, there's a lot of ways you can advertise. I mean, just getting the word out is like the major point. Um, neighbors, relatives, family, um, have your mom and dad ask at work if you know, these are long cut. I mean, it's actually really easy to get customers. Um, I suggest starting off with your family and stuff like that and then moving onward to get equipment. We, I don't have the best equipment right now. We have two push mowers, a tractor, um, a weeder, around two weeders, and a blower. And that's all you really need. You don't really need anything fancy at all. We, um, my dad has a Tahoe, and we mostly fit that all in there. If we uh, do a lot of compacting and organization, we might be able to fit in all in the Malibu. Um, but other than that, I mean... Everything fits. We don't need a trailer right now. If we do need a trailer, my neighbor up there is happy to loan us his. Or my dad has a friend that has a trailer. I mean, I'm not planning on getting a job when I'm like 15, 16, or 17. Just because I'm just, I want to work my own hours. So if I want to take the day off, I can take the day off. You know what I mean? I don't want to be working a 10 to 9 job or anything like that. I want to be able to run it myself and do something that I'm able to manage by myself. So if I want to take it easy this year, then I take it easy. If I want to go really hard make a ton of money, I can do that. It's kind of all my choice and it's not the owner's or my boss's choice. I can do everything and I don't have to worry about it. Also, it's really cool because you value your money a ton if you this everything this whole house has not been handed to me i've been working hard for it and i've been working lots of summers to make money and put it in my bank account i've really learned not to i like to go on um, amazon look around and i'm really into cameras and stuff so i'm always looking at that kind of stuff but when i think about all the stuff i have to get done in here it's like i can't be buying cameras and microphones and stuff like that because i have all the stuff to work on and you really learn to value your money a lot once you start making your own money. Um, I don't know all my friends and stuff. They don't have, they don't make money. Their parents just hand them money and stuff like that. But I feel better because I know I earn my money, and all the money I earn is put to something that I enjoy doing, like building a tiny house. Um, other than that, I mean, it's not hard. You don't have to do lawn care. That's just my example. I do lawn care because. I like to do lawn care, and it's something that I was able to do. There's a tons of other stuff, babysitting. I mean, there's so much that you can't do at all. You can always make a couple bucks. Um, when you're 14 or 15, you can start getting jobs like being like a grocery bagger and stuff like that. But it's all your choice. And if you want any more tips, comment below, and I can answer them. Or I can, you can probably message me and I can answer it. My uh, email will be in the description. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.